Hey guys, it's Cab Soccer here, here for a tutorial on how to build my LEGO Starburst machine version 2.0. These are all the parts we're going to use. Um, if you haven't seen my LEGO Starburst machine version 2.0, um, go check out my channel. There should be a video on there so you can see all the latest features of it. And But these are all the main parts we're going to need to build this. So I'm going to go over each one of these parts and tell you how to build it. So let's start over here on the base. Because this is a really simple one. The base is 11 by 9. And all the walls are two studs thick on all sides. Just like that. See? So 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. So there's also a hole in the bottom right here. The hole is 1, 2, 3 studs high and um, one, two, three, four, five studs wide. So, three high, five wide for the hole. And there's also a hole in the top. So that's, once you're done building, it should look like this. I'm not gonna actually build it because I don't have enough Legos to. And that would just take too much time anyway, so. Yeah, that's the um, base. Um, now what you want to do, once you have the base, is you want to build like stairs inside. Um, three steps. And then you want to take slant pieces and just make a big slant all the way down. So when the starburst comes out, it just falls right down through the bottom. And what you might have to do is um, take out this piece right like the piece in back of this one right here you might have to take that one out because the starburst gets stuck right there but um so if you have trouble with that that's what you need to do you need to take that out next part we're going to make is this this is oh shoot oh it's um seven by nine seven this way nine across however you say that Okay, so basically, it is, it looks kind of confusing, but it's just a bunch of normal pieces, 7x9, um, it's kind of just like a flat piece, but, and then what you want to do is you want to take that and stick it right on the front of the base, just like this, oops, so it's just a bunch of pieces put together, but as you can see there's a lot of like flat pieces on it what you want to do is this tower over here is going to rest on these flat pieces so you want the flat pieces with studs on them like see this gray one has it's flat but it has studs um, so you want that one those kind all around the outside right there and then on the inside the part where the inside of the tower goes you want them to be smooth like that green one see how there's no studs on top you want them to be smooth so when you put the tower on the tower touches these um, the ones with studs and but they don't it doesn't touch the one with the ones with um, smooth pieces on top so that can be kind of confusing if you have any questions about that um, email me or PM me or whatever and I'll explain that. So now that you've gotten that, what you want to do is just put it on here. Oops. Let me just stick it on. You just push down. Okay. Okay. Just put that on there. Once you have that built and you should look like this. And next thing you want to build is this wall over here. Um, this wall is let me see, um, nine by four, nine across, four down, nine by four, and but it only has three walls instead of four, so it's not a complete box. Three walls, just like that, and then I just just like that and then on all you want um let me see one two three it's five high five tall 
And then what you want to do is just get some pieces like this for a roof kind of thing. And just stick those on, just to make it look cool. You don't have to do this. You can just get normal pieces. But, yeah. Anyway, that's a good thing to do. So now that you've gotten that, what you want to do is put this. It should fit right into there. Right into that space where the other one, where the rest of the uh, base should be filled up. So now you have that. This is what it should look like. Almost like a chair or something. Or an oven. And the next thing we're going to do is make the main tower. What you want to do for the main tower, it is... 7 by 9. 7 by 9. And... <clears throat> you don't... It doesn't really... You don't need to measure how tall it is. Just make it as tall as you want. It doesn't really matter too much, but you need to have the second one up from the bottom in the front. It needs to have holes in it. And then all you gotta do, let me just take this out real quick. Then all you gotta do is get a rod, just like this. Any, um, not sure what size this is, but something just like this. Um, let me see. It's like. Five high. One, two, yeah. It's like the equivalent of five Lego bricks high. That's a good size to use. And all you want to do is find a wheel or something. And what you got to do is you just put it on the end just like that. Oops. Just like that. Then what you want to do is stick this through the holes in the front. Go on the bottom, which... Oh, I should mention something about the tower. Um, It's... Two thickness on all the sides except for the front which is only one thickness so these are all one thick but these are all two thick so hopefully you know what I mean about that like uh, I don't know if I'm using the right term there but so if you're building this make sure you do that and then this piece goes right on the end of that rod I'm gonna have to probably use two hands for this. Let's see. Oh yeah. So I'll let you know when I've I'll come back when I've gotten that. So yeah. Okay, I'm back and sorry about that. Um now you've gotten the rod on so it comes back and forth and you can just push it. And also in the tower you need to have a hole in the back that is two studs wide and two studs high and three studs wide so otherwise that's about it and should be one above the last brick so it should be up up one and then three wide and two high so now your tower should look like this two, a hole here hole here hole in the top and it should be one thickness on this side and two thickness on the rest and as high as you want it doesn't really matter so now that you've gotten the tower, what you need to make is this insert into the tower. This is um, five across and four down. And I, it only has three walls, just like the this part back here. Three walls. And uh, what you need to do down on the bottom is... Um, here, let me show you. Okay. There's got to be a hole right there and there. See? Right there. It is two studs wide and two studs high. Goes from the bottom right to there. Just like that. And then the rest of the bottom you can make normal. And the bottom has to be closed right here. But don't cover up the hole. The hole should go through the bottom. So, um, I don't know if I'm explaining that well enough. Once again, just ask me if you have any questions. So, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory when you look at it, but it's kind of hard to explain. So, and then on the top, you need to cover the edges with smooth pieces, so nothing will stick onto it. Last piece you have to make is the cap. 
the bottom it's basically just some flat pieces stuck together there it is um I believe it's seven by four yeah seven across and four down and on the bottom there's just some blocks and that that's a three by three they're just stuck together like that so now let's go ahead and put it together now you should have this block and all you gotta do is make sure this is pulled out all the way and what you want to do is just drop it down this hole should be right over top see how it, it the hole right there that hole lines up with this lever it should be directly above it and when you slide this down it is actually above the hole so right there it just um, allows this button to go through without hitting anything that's what that hole is for so now if you'd have this it looks something like this and all you gotta do is put the whole tower just right on there um, this should be elevated a tiny bit the thing inside but not too much and then all you gotta do is, is put the cap in and the cap should just rest on top of these smooth pieces the inside goes right in there so now you gotta do is um, get some starburst and fill up your machine and you can use it now if there's anything I missed uh, I tried to cover everything for some parts I forgot maybe if you have any questions just um, leave a comment so I can get back to you as soon as possible because this is a really great machine and I want everyone to be able to use it so if you have any problems like your machine isn't working or anything just ask me in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible so thanks for watching this is Cab Soccer Zero bye